It's a bestseller. Really, really good. I can't recommend it enough. There are a couple of takeaways from this one. First off, Kiyos Kiyosaki says that the rich don't work for their money. I'll explain what he means by this. The rich focus on acquiring assets that make money for them because it's very difficult to have wages that are high enough to get you rich. You need to have passive income. You need to have your money work for you. Financial education is also the key, according to the author of this book. He says that education and life experiences are the most important thing when it comes to financial health and financial knowledge and literacy. So seeking out different ways to become financially literate, whether that's audiobooks, YouTube videos, courses, speaking with a mentor, that part of financial literacy is really stressed in the book. <clears throat> and tying into The Millionaire Next Door, Rich Dad, Poor Dad also emphasizes owning your own business. So these are now two really, really highly recommended books that emphasize the importance of owning your own business. That should be a key for all of us who are interested in financial longevity and financial freedom. This book also talks about the power of corporations and the corporate structure because they provide tax advantages. I'm pulling this number off the top of my head, but the stat was something like some of the richest people in America pay under 10% of their net worth in taxes every year, whereas the lower and middle class are pushing upwards of about a third of their total net worth in taxes every year. That's often because there are a lot of tax advantages and protections that come with corporations and LLCs that people are just not taking advantage of in their own personal tax returns and filings. So I'm not an accountant and I am not a financial advisor, but I would suggest everyone go and look at the tax write-offs that your business or your company might be entitled to and find ways to take advantage of it because the rich in this country, the upper class, do pay less of their total net worth in taxes through some of these write-offs and through some of these tax advantages.